Hello and welcome to this A-Level Chemistry walkthrough video about the redox topic. Feel free to have a go at these 14 multiple choice questions yourselves, then watch my video and see how you got on. Which compound contains a chlorine atom with an oxidation state of plus 4? There are two things that we have to remember to work out the oxidation state. We have to remember that the sum of the oxidation states of all of the atoms is equal to the total charge and that most of the atoms will have a predictable oxidation state based on their position in the periodic table. So in A, oxygen is in group 6, so it will typically be minus 2. So 4 lots of minus 2, add potassiums plus 1 because it's in, in group 1, add chlorine is equal to 0. So the chlorine here must be plus 7. In B, 4 chlorines is equal to 1 carbon. Carbon is in group 4, and so carbon will be plus 4, and chlorine will be minus 1. In C, we've got 2 oxygens at minus 2 each, that's a total of minus 4, plus the chlorine equals 0. So chlorine here is plus 4. And so this is the correct answer, because chlorine has an oxidation state of plus 4. Which of these shows nitrogen in its correct oxidation states in the compounds given? So if we take a look at NH3, we've got three hydrogen with plus one each, and nitrogen therefore cancels that out to be minus three. So that means we can rule out A and D, and so we're now choosing between B and C. In N2O, we don't have any options. Both of them give us an oxidation state of plus one, because two nitrogens is equal to the minus two from the one oxygen. So we've not learnt anything here. In HNO2, we've got hydrogen at plus 1, 2 oxygen at minus 2 each. So that means that the nitrogen must be adding to that minus 3 in total to give us 0. So that nitrogen must be plus 3. And so that means that B is the correct answer because the nitrogen is showing the correct oxidation state in each of those three examples. Which one of the following is the electron arrangement of the strongest reducing agent? Well, reducing agents are electron donors because they cause other elements to become reduced, and so other elements must be gaining electrons. And so the element that will be the best electron donor will be the element that lets go of its own electrons the most easily, and therefore has the weakest control over its own electrons. And so in A, the outermost electrons are in the second energy level, so they will be held on to very tightly. In B and C, the outer electrons are in the third energy level, but in C, they're in a P subshell, so that's higher energy still. So C is the best reducing agent out of those two. But then when we get to D, the outer energy level electrons are in the fourth energy level. They will be held onto very weakly compared to the other three. They'll be lost the most easily, and so D is the best reducing agent. In which one of the following reactions do two hydrogen ions and one electron have to be added to the left-hand side in order to balance the equation? A. Well, we've got an aldehyde on the left with two fewer hydrogen than the alcohol on the right-hand side. So we need to add two hydrogen ions to the left-hand side, so this is looking possible. But to balance the charge, we need to add two electrons to the left-hand side to make this work. And so A is not right. In B, we need to add two hydrogen ions to the left-hand side to balance the hydrogen atoms, and then the charge is currently plus four on the left-hand side and plus three on the right. So one electron will in fact balance this. And so B is the correct answer. In C, we actually need to add three hydrogen ions to the left-hand side, but only two electrons to make the total charge on the left equal to zero. And then in D, we need to add one hydrogen ion and one electron to balance them. And so B is correct. Which equation does not involve the reduction of a transition metal compound? So to solve this, we need to work out the oxidation state of the transition metal at the beginning and work it out at the end and see if it has gone down. In iron oxide, Fe2O3, we've got three lots of oxygen at minus two. Two ions, therefore, must be balancing that out to give us zero. So that means the iron is plus three at the beginning. And at the end, we've got the element iron, so that is zero. So this is reduction. Three electrons have been gained. In B, titanium oxide, two oxygen is minus two times two, so that's minus four. Titanium, thus, must be plus four at the beginning. 
in titanium chloride, you've got four lots of minus one for the four chlorines, and so titanium must be plus four to cancel that out. So titanium is the same at the beginning as at the end, so it has not been reduced, and so B is the correct answer. In which conversion is the metal reduced? So to solve this, we have to look at the oxidation states at the beginning and at the end and see if the oxidation state has gone down. In Cr2072 minus, we've got seven oxygens at minus two each, and we've got two chromium, and overall, this gives us an answer of minus two. So those two chromiums must be a total of plus 12, so they must be plus six each. In CrO42 minus, Four lots of minus two is minus eight, so chromium must be plus six because that gives us minus two overall. And so that has not changed. In B, MnO42 minus, the manganese must be a total of plus six, and then in the MnO4 minus, it's plus seven. So this has changed, but it's been oxidized. In TiO2, the titanium is plus four. In TiO3, two minus, the titanium is still plus four, so it hasn't changed. And so that means that D must be the correct answer. Vanadium minus six is equal to minus one, so that means that vanadium must be plus five at the beginning, and then vanadium minus two must be plus two, so vanadium is plus four at the end. So the vanadium has gained one electron and therefore been reduced, and so D is correct. NO2 one minus ions can be reduced in an acidic solution to NO. How many electrons are gained when each NO2 one minus ion is reduced? Well, we need to write the half equation here, really, to make our lives most easy. And so NO2 one minus turns into NO. And so stage one is to look for atoms that aren't oxygen or hydrogen and balance those first. Those are already balanced for the nitrogen. We need to add water to the side that doesn't have enough oxygen. So that's the right hand side. We need to add one water molecule. Then we need to add hydrogen ions to the left hand side for the NO2 one minus. We need to add two of them because we've got two hydrogens on the right hand side. And then the total charge on the left hand side is currently plus one and on the right hand side it is zero. So we needed to add enough electrons to make those charges equal. So that is one electron and so A is the correct answer. Which of the following is a redox reaction? Well, in a redox reaction, one element is reduced, in other words, it gains electrons and its oxidation state goes down, and the other one is oxidized and the oxidation state goes up. So we're looking for an equation where oxidation states are changing. In A, chromium is balancing four oxygens to give a total charge of minus two overall, so that means that the chromium must be plus six. And in Cr2072 minus, two chromiums are balancing a total of minus 14 from the oxygen to give us minus two overall. So the chromium is still plus six. And so therefore this is not redox because chromium's oxidation state hasn't changed. In B, we're starting with the element chlorine. So those six chlorine atoms have got an oxidation state of zero at the beginning. And then the chlorine is turning into two things. It's turning into Cl minus, which must have an oxidation state of minus one, and it's turning into ClO3, one minus. So that means that one chlorine is canceling out the oxygen to give a total charge of minus one overall. So chlorine minus six is equal to minus one. So that means that the chlorine is plus five. So that means that one of those chlorine atoms is losing five electrons, and the other five chlorine atoms are gaining one each. This is very definitely a redox reaction, and so B is the correct answer. Which equation does not represent a redox reaction? In a redox reaction, one substance gains electrons, and so its oxidation state goes down, and another element loses electrons, and its oxidation state increases. So we're looking for an equation where this is not happening. In the first one, magnesium begins as oxidation state of zero, and in the end it is balancing two chlorines, which means it must be plus two. This is definitely redox. B is a combustion equation. Now combustion is an example of oxidation where the fuel gets oxidized and the oxygen gets reduced. So this is definitely redox. 
And we can prove that by looking at the oxygen. Oxygen begins as zero, as an element, and finishes at minus two in carbon dioxide and in water. So the oxygen is getting reduced, and so that means that something must be getting oxidized, and it is, it's in fact the carbon. Carbon begins with an oxidation state of minus four and ends with an oxidation state of plus four in CO2. In C, the iron begins with an oxidation state of zero and finishes in iron sulfate with an oxidation state of plus two, and copper does the opposite change. And so that means that D must be the correct answer. The copper at the beginning in copper oxide is plus two, and in copper chloride, it's still plus two. And so this is not a redox reaction, and so D is correct. Refer to the balanced equation below when answering this question. In the balanced equation, the mole ratio for sulfuric acid to water is. And so we've been given an equation for the reaction here, and there are two spaces that are unbalanced, and we need to decide what number goes into each position. The first substance on the left-hand side has got three elements in, hydrogen, sulfur, and oxygen, whereas on the right-hand side we've just got hydrogen and oxygen. So we should solve the one on the left first and balance for sulfur. In the Cr2SO4-3, there are three sulfur atoms, and in K2SO4 there is a fourth. So since there are four sulfurs on the right-hand side, we need to put a four here. That will then give us 4 times by 2, so 8 hydrogen in the H2SO4, 6 here, so that makes 14 in total, so we need to put a 7 here, and so the correct ratio is 4 to 7. What is the reducing agent in this reaction? Well, the reducing agent donates electrons to another substance and causes them to be reduced, so therefore they have been themselves oxidised. So we're looking for the element that's been oxidised because their oxidation state has gone up. Is it hydrogen? No, it's not hydrogen because we've got hydrogen with plus one and plus one and plus one. So that hasn't even changed at all. Is it C2O4 2 minus? Well, in that substance, we've got four lots of minus two from the oxygen, and that means this must be balanced out with two lots of plus three from the carbon to give minus two overall. And then we've got carbon in carbon dioxide in the products. Oxygen is minus two, but there are two of them, so therefore carbon is plus four. So carbon has gone from plus three to plus four, so it has been oxidized, and so B is the reducing agent in this reaction. In which reaction is hydrogen acting as an oxidizing agent? Oxidizing agents cause a different species to be oxidized, so in other words, that species loses electrons, so the oxidizing agent gains them and is reduced. So in A, hydrogen begins with an oxidation state of zero and then finishes at plus one. So it has been oxidized itself, so it's actually the reducing agent here. In B, hydrogen starts off at zero and goes to plus one again. So again, it's the reducing agent. In C, hydrogen starts at zero, goes to plus one again. So again, it's the reducing agent. In D, hydrogen starts at zero, and in the product, it's bonded to sodium metal. Sodium will be plus one, hydrogen will therefore be minus one. So hydrogen has gained electrons from the sodium, therefore oxidizing the sodium, so it is an oxidizing agent. Which of these is a redox reaction? Well, in a redox reaction, the oxidation states of two substances change. One goes up and one goes down. So we need to look for that change. In A, calcium begins as plus two and silicon begins as plus four. In the products, both of them have that same oxidation state because plus two and plus four balances out that minus six from the three oxygen. In B, the sulfur is plus six in H2SO4 and it is still plus six in Na2SO4 to balance that total of minus eight from the four oxygen. In C, sodium is plus one and Br is minus one, sulfur is plus six, and those are all the same in the products as well. And so D must be the correct answer. Magnesium starts with an oxidation state of zero and goes to plus two. Sulfur starts at zero and goes to minus two. Which species is not produced by a redox reaction between solid sodium iodide and concentrated sulfuric acid 
H2SO4. We've got four possible sulfur containing products and this is a tricky question because actually all four of these do get produced because iodide ions are a really good reducing agent because they're so large they let go of their electrons very readily. And so the key word here is redox. So in which of these products has the sulfur not actually been reduced? Well, in H2SO4, you've got two hydrogen at plus one, four oxygen at minus two, and so the sulfur must be plus six. So we're looking for a sulfur containing product where it is still plus six. In A, sodium is plus one twice, oxygen is minus two four times, so sulfur is actually still plus six. And so A is the correct answer because the oxidation state hasn't changed. In B, H2S, the sulfur is actually minus two, and in C, the sulfur is zero, and in D, the sulfur is actually plus four. And so that means that each one of these has been produced as a result of the reduction of the sulfur in the sulfuric acid. OK, that's the end of this question and that's the end of this video. I hope it was useful. I'll see you again soon.